Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Bianca. And you're here. Before we get started, Black Lives Do Have More Always Better. There'll be links in the description for you to check out. And just remember, it is our responsibility to what? Protect black, black women. women. When? All the time. Every single day. Yes. You just... Period! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's time to talk about the books that I read in February. Yes. Okay, let's <laughs> pray first by heads and close your eyes. It may be nourishing to our body and healing to our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So, let's go. Alright y'all, so today we ain't got nothing crazy. You know, I tried some Korean fried chicken. Oh, that's cute. Girl, I use lemon pepper, turmeric, Caribbean oh. jerk. Oh, you put everything. Cayenne and paprika. Okay. I tried to keep it simple, but maybe I didn't. The, the recipe says salt and pepper. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay. Peach gato. Period. So she good. picked it. It's really good. And. Yes. Yes. Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. Baby, this fruit? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Suman Kid, The Book of Longings. Ciao. Uh -huh. Oh, this is no, so good. Because I said, I, I put it in for air fry and it still said cornstarch. Hmm, that was so good. You know I could cook. I know. Period. I've never had my food before, though. This is too. I'm pleasantly surprised. I love this. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, girl. But The Book <laughs> of Longings by Suman Kid. Mm, baby. Okay. I give it five stars. Okay. Oh, okay. Way back. Okay. So, this book's about this lady named Anna. Mm -hmm. She's a feminist. And her thing, oh my gosh, her thing. Okay. Let me start over. Yes. <laughs> so, this book is actually like historically sound. Oh, and by that, I mean the different like situations that she was talking about and how it was in the marketplace and the timing mm -hmm. of everything. Mm hmm is actually like in history books and stuff right mm -hmm. so Anna her dad works for Herod and she always wanted to learn how to read and write now she could afford to learn how to read and write because her dad made money learn stories about women in the Bible so now she just walks around collecting different stories about women in the Bible and writing them down mm -hmm. so one day she's at the marketplace meeting this man that her dad is making her marry for land girl you know the whole reason why I just it's too much mm-hmm she meets Jesus. Uh -huh. And Jesus is out here helping his little sister spindle the yarn or whatever it's called. <laughs> and she gets beat up. Not like beat up, but like approached. And Jesus comes to her defense, period. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. But he gets run away. Mm -hmm. So now, she's like spending her days trying to find Jesus in the caves where he prayed. Met Jesus. Mm -hmm. They fall in love. Oh, they get married. He was more so, I don't want to have kids because I know that God has a plan for me. Mm -hmm. And I don't oh. want to um, subject myself because I know I'm going to have to leave my family and I don't want to do that. Right. So at one point, she leaves with Jesus. Jesus goes and gets baptized. Oh, mind you, child. Oh, okay. This book really focused on the humanity of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that. Okay. His struggles with wanting a family mm -hmm. his relationship with mary mm -hmm. and his brothers mm -hmm. his brothers were jealous mm -hmm. and there's one part where he was like oh he has to get married because if he doesn't get married he can't he won't have access to the father's land right so in my mind it makes sense that he got married like it just makes sense because you know in the bible Jesus is born. Jesus is three when he has to run away from Herod. Yes. And then we don't hear about him until he's 12. 12 right? And then we don't hear about him until he's 30. Yeah. So it's like, what happened in those in between years, right? years? And this book just gave a really good account of what could have possibly yeah, happened. Cool. And girl, they fall in love. Oh, she has to end up running to um, Egypt mm -hmm. with her aunt. And they end up going to like this scholar library, whatever. I will say, yes. it was very good. I like. I annotated it. I think I read it in like three days. Oh wow! Yeah, that sounds really good actually. So, so is it like insinuating that like by the age of thirty, like he had to like essentially leave, leave the wife? Is he gonna continue his ministry? Cause like well, you no, but you know how 
He got baptized at 30. Right. And then she was with him at the baptism and all. Oh. Just watch it. Oh. Because he was like, I think I'm the son of God. Because he didn't know he was the son of God. Oh. And then he got but baptized he by John the Baptist. And that's how he figured out. I thought he figured it out when he was 12 at the... At the temple? Yeah. Did he figure it out or did they were they just like, oh, he's really smart and knows a lot about God? I don't know, because like, he felt like the symbolism that like of the lamb being killed. He's like, I'm that lamb. Yes. But in the book, he was like struggling with that. Oh. He was like, I'm not sure. Like, I know that I'm supposed to do something, but I don't... Because a lot of people were claiming that's to be true. the son of God back then. That makes sense. Yes, mm -hmm. that is true. This one, Next. The City We Became by N.K. Jenkins. Jemison. Jenin. Wow! I cannot read Jemison. It's because of the gang. Yeah. The McKay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> Five stars to that, too. Really? Okay. Yeah, six way. So, baby. <laughs> New York is in disarray. Uh-huh. Now, the powers of New York go to five different people, and each person represents a borough. Okay. Oh. So, now they have to work together. To defeat, I'm sorry, uh, girl, I just don't want the lines. Right? Okay. They have to um defeat the, the force that's trying to take over New York. Okay. And the monster girl is gentrification. Girl! Oh, hi. <laughs> Wait, I was not expecting that. Wait. Oh! But no, there's this boy who's like his first day in New York and he doesn't remember his name. Mm -hmm. He don't remember where he's from. He don't mm -hmm. remember his mama name. Nothing. Mm -hmm. So he's like somebody but he like passed out on a train or whatever. Somebody asked him like oh what's your name? He's like um, uh Manny. And we're like okay he's just gonna go by Manny. Baby Manny is Manhattan. Um, Baby he gets into a, uh, a taxi cab and he starts fighting these tentacles that just been coming out of something. Mm -hmm. So then <clears throat> he meets his roommate. Oh, ooh, representation too, because his roommate was a uh, an Asian trans man. Mm -hmm. So yes for the rep. Right. So then he finds out he has to go find the other New Yorks, the mm -hmm. other boroughs, right? Mm -hmm. So he finds Bronca, who mm -hmm. is the Bronx, Bronx, right? Brooklyn, who is Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Island, who is Staten Island? Now, baby, Staten Island is messy. Oh. That lady was racist. Oh, yeah. And old. Mm -hmm. And perfect. Still living with her mama and her daddy. And she was like, New York's never cared about me. Mm -hmm. I've never been a part of New York. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. You know how Staten Island be. Yeah. So, Queens was. Honestly, I don't think they managed to learn her name. They were just like, we're just going to call her Queens. Those five people have to go find New York itself, San Paolo. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, this man is like on the brink of death. Oh. And they keep missing him. And it's like they will go somewhere and then he will pop up right after. And it was just so annoying. But anyway. So they just have to find each other. Oh. People were being run out of their t cities. Yeah. Um... Bronca worked at the Bronx Art Center, mm -hmm. and she's like this Native American, this Native American lesbian who didn't realize she was gay, so she was like forty or fifty. So yeah. she's an old woman, right? Older, yeah. And girl, they was just fighting. Stat, they had to fight. And it was just, it was a lot going on. And to be honest, but by the end. Mm. The whole time I read, listened to an audiobook, mm -hmm. and even the the soundtrack for the audiobook that's good was amazing. I love that. So five out of five. That was a great book. I like how they take them as like people. Mm -hmm. You can borrow it. Black Girl Limited by Echo Brown. Mm. Mm hmm. I love this color. It's very pretty. But yes. Give that five stars too. Okay. That was a good reading month for me. Mm. This book is about a girl named Echo Brown. Mm -hmm. She's a wizard who's living in the east side of Cleveland. Okay. All the wizards in Cleveland. They can see the veils of people, which is like the darkness that's like 
surrounding them and making them upset and, and angry and stuff. Mm -hmm. So she realizes she could see that. Mm -hmm. Her mom is a um, is on drugs, addicted to. I'm gonna say crack. Cool. Not cool. Yeah, not cool. I just ah, meant like cool. Is it? I don't know. Context not, for the story. I'm yes. dead. No, um, I guess. Her dad's an alcoholic. As we drink wine. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. <Ooh. laughs> and she ends up going to like advanced school. So she goes to the white schools. Okay. Yeah, like a magnet school. Mm -hmm. But she has to come home to whatever she got going on. Mm -hmm. And she has the ability to see the future as well. Oh, and okay. she has a best friend. I don't remember her name. But huh. all I know is that she is Muslim. Mm -hmm. She's a Muslima. And she's gay. Cool. That's cool. That was cute. Okay. The book opens up. She talking about how she almost died in a house fire at six years old with her brothers. Okay. That's how it opens up. Okay. What was her mama? Ask me what her mama was. Mm -hmm. Passed out on the floor. Overdose. Oh. On drugs. Oh. And her mama talking about something. I went to the ancestral realm. And I asked them to bring, I asked them to keep you safe because I couldn't do it no more. I said, "Wow, that's crazy!" Oh my god! So she promised me life. Yes. She gets to school. She meets a friend. I think his name was Jacob. I don't remember. That's good. Ooh, yeah. Falls in love. Area of magic. This is, but there's always like somebody with you. Oh. Like even like if you're a witch or something, there's always not a conduit, but like. Like your spirit guide. Mm -hmm. So he became her spirit guide, oh. essentially. Mm -hmm. And this girl was going through so much. Her mama was broken. She was getting bullied. Like oh. this one girl jumped her. Oh my God. And she was just I'm out here just looking for the other wizards, trying to get her parents and her brother into a better house. So she pretended that she, you know, she kind of cold switched a little bit to try mm -hmm. to get into a better housing situation. That didn't work. I just can't spoil it. But just know that this book is hella quotable. Okay. It was beautifully written. Mm -hmm. And I want to say I finished it in like a day. Holy shit. It's not even one book. No, I listen to it too though. On oh, two okay. speed as I do. Mm -hmm. But for what it was, I don't think enough people are talking about it for how good it is. Really? It's very good. She she just goes through so much. She's finding other wizards along the way. She oh she was in the, in this English class and they had to do like a poetry thing or whatever. So she wrote her own poem. Mm -hmm. They had to you know uh, to the tune of Langston Hughes' "A Dream Deferred," which you know is my favorite poem. Mm -hmm. So it was just very well written. It was. Young adult, but not written young adult, you right, know? Right. It was a great book. I really think more people should. I like that. Read it. It's very much black women overcoming. Because she, she... Girl, I can't even tell you. Okay. I can't even tell you and edit it out because you just got to read it. Okay. Next book. Ah! Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Five stars. Why he look fine? Yeah! Sorry. Why he look at him? Fine. Are you kidding me? Okay. Why he look fine? You see the rose petals? Yes. Are you? Are you kidding? This I love this cover. Okay. Yes. Keep going. I, I do too. Five stars. Yes. Keep going. Five. Mm -hmm. Fine stars. Love. Yeah. For that fine man. Deserve. Okay. Deserve. You know the book the hate you give. Yeah. It's a story about her daddy. Oh. Girl. I like that. It's the story about her daddy, Maverick, child. He was out here slanging them birds, as you know. Mm -hmm. He was slanging something else, too, because by 17, he was he was about to be a father of two. Oh, wow. So, because you know she had an older brother by a different, who had a different mom? Seven. So, <clears throat> this is just his backstory, baby. He stopped, you know, selling so he could get straight for his son. Mm -hmm. And then there was a death in his family. And this is just his story. He finds out that that girl, Aisha, gets pregnant, mm -hmm. has a baby. Oh, wow. He didn't know if the baby, he didn't know if Seven was his or his friends. Because they was just passing her around. She was a pass around. Yes. But finds out that it was his baby. He don't tell Lisa, his girlfriend, Star's mama, 
until mind you the baby's already like three months oh. but he don't tell her for like two more months and then they don't talk and then then they sleep together and then she gets pregnant tell me some oh i'll pull out i said no you won't. you have one child already no. pull out of what no. he didn't she gets pregnant so then he's like, I think I need to get back in the game because, baby, I'm 17, about to have two kids, about to drop out of school. You know, he he tries to get back in the drugs, but as we know, that doesn't work out. Right. He becomes a great father, but I do think that this was a great book to talk about Black Boy Joy and just the black male experience. It's written in mostly African-American vernacular English, so it's so, like, I was reading it, and the voice inside my head that was reading it to me was, like, super chill and just right. really dead with the calls. It was such a great time. I, uh... Oh, uh, Beautiful. It's just, we need more pictures, more books with black men on the covers. Because mm -hmm. that was such a good book. Um, that's so, ew. I know, it was kind of corny. Like, yeah, that's so corny. Next one is Good Me, Bad Me. Like who? Allie Land. Yeah, it's a white girl. Sorry. I don't know why. Okay, anyway. Why you apologize? I don't know. I gave that book like four stars. Your first one, five. Okay. Um, three and a half. Oh, even lower. Okay. Ah, uh, it's the even lower for me. It's a good book. Mm -hmm. It's issues. just good it was giving me very much tiffany d jackson as in like twist in the last four pages tease which you got that last one okay this book is about a girl named what's her name millie mm -hmm. why are you laughing at the way i said it yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i was thinking really bobby brown it's okay oh yeah well this is millie with a y that's why i was thinking millie rock oh, yeah okay, so okay. but you didn't see the spelling did, so did, yeah did, that was cute yeah Okay. <laughs> she snitched on her mama. Right. Yeah. Her mama's a serial killer, though. Okay. I don't know. She killed eight little boys. Right. <laughs> but why? She was just out here killing the little boys and smothering them and cutting off their penises, okay? So she snitched on her mama one day. And she gets placed in the home of this... A psychiatrist. Uh -huh. And he like wants to write a book on her life, which she doesn't find out till later. So which like, I she think sounds like a psych ward? No, she's living in her house. Oh. And so now this whole book, she's trying to figure out like, are people born bad or do they or do they become bad? Because she's oh. like, if my mom's a serial killer, then like, will I become a serial yeah, killer? killer right. But she was crazy. The mom or her? Both. Yeah. But her, Millie especially, she like, she was being bullied. Mm -hmm. really badly mm -hmm. and the person she was being bullied by was the daughter of the psychiatrist with whom she was living oh my god. so she would be bullied at home and yeah, then go cool. to school be bullied by the same person oh my god and i know it's it a she had one friend who also another issue i had with this book was like understanding the ages of the people right because her one friend was like 12 but i'm pretty sure shawty was in like high school okay but I don't know when you were 12 we were friends and I was in high school. That's true. You and her. Yeah, yeah, I'm not creepy. Yeah. No. Thank you. Jeffrey's not creepy. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Thank you for endorsing me. Um, <laughs> Jeffrey Mayer. Um, at least she's not creepy. I'm screaming. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But like yeah, I knew you would have questions about this, but that's why I ain't even trying to say no, too much. No, that's fine. Cause I feel like, I mean, I really see that dynamic wasn't like that. I was quiet. You were like, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, but like she's insane. But is she insane because she kept questioning that? Her sanity. Like, all I know is that she tried to drown somebody. But it was Not the same girl who that. was bullying her. So that's Which why I'm like reading the book. I was just like, yo, you're weird. But then it was like, okay, but I could see the justification why you're doing that certain right. stuff to certain people because right. these people put you through the mess. Mm -hmm. And oh, and then she has to like live her whole days just hearing people talk about the case and talk badly about her mother mm -hmm. and oh who's the star witness and stuff and like she can't tell anybody it's her to answer her question i don't know if people are born bad 
because I don't think so. she was weird and the twist at the end I should just tell you but I should edit it out but other than that three and a half it was it was cute it was it was ah, it was cute <laughs> I gave it higher than what I thought I was gonna give it next book three deck crowns by Kendari Blake yes um, well, I was gonna say Kendare, so that's why I let you say it, because I knew I was gonna say it wrong. It could actually be Kendare. Hey, I say Kendare because it sounds right. It sounds right. It sounds hot. But Kendare, sorry, that makes sense. Okay, Kendare so, also. Sorry. What? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As you know, I read this for uh, my friend Fen Burn Along mm -hmm. and my four co-hosts. Co co mm -hmm. co yeah. We had our live show. For this one on February 27th. Okay. Um, I brought it up from a three star to a four star by the oh, end of the live show. I see. This book is about these three triplets. Mm -hmm. Well, it's one set of, th of triplets. Okay. Um, <laughs> what are their names? Arsenoi, mitochondria. Nope, that's the powerhouse of the cell. What is Jesus her name? Christ. Um. <laughs> is it Mirabella? Yeah. Mirabella, who's yeah. the second one? Catherine. Yeah, I think they said Catherine, though. Catherine. Is this in, like, England? A, a Western... Is that stereotyping? Probably. A Western-centric fantasy land. England. <laughs> she said... England? <laughs> what it? it takes place in Fenberg. Fenberg isn't a real place. Don't do that! It's you being this upset <laughs> but I'm me. Okay, back to the name. Catherine, whatever. Okay. I don't understand why the name really sent you off like that. I don't think. <laughs> okay. Oh, girl. Damn, Damn, we, we was... No, one. So the triplets. <laughs> yes. Three, one triplet. I'm done. I'm not even going to say triplets anymore. Alright, yes. Three kids. The monarchy, that's the word I'm choosing, mm -hmm. looking for, mm -hmm. was chosen by, not by family lineage, it would be whatever lady had a set okay. of female triplets. They would be the next queen of Fenburn. Fen, okay. Fen, Fenburn. Fenberg. Mm -hmm. Is it Burn or Berg? I was trying to look for a name up there. Oh, oh, many lie. Fenberg. Oh, wow. wow. That's an ugly way to spell it. <sighs> Sorry. I was thinking like F E N B U R N. Why is it F E N N B I R N? That's 10 letters. That's not 10 letters. That's 8 letters. Why? How you get. Where, where the two extra letters come from? Okay, but back to. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Keep going. Can we take a walk? No. no. <laughs> Why did you that? Because <laughs> I thought maybe we would pass. No. We're talking about this book. <laughs> so this lady had triplets. And they took them away. And then they separated them. Oh. Yes. Mirabella goes to develop her elemental powers. Okay. She's a fan favorite. Okay. Uh, Arsino is a naturalist. So she's good with the herbs and the potions and stuff. Mm. And... Come on. Kathleen is a poisoner, which means she can ingest all the poison that she needs to and she won't die. Granted, I don't know why anyone would need to ingest poison so frequently, but like, I guess if it's an apocalypse and there's no water but there's rat poison, it would be good to be immune to poison. Because I, mean, I guess it's a flex. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah. Perfect, you know? Yeah, exactly. Perfect perspective. Because like, how do you know that you're not immune to poison? You have to try it and you have to keep trying it. And But anyway, when they turn 16, they all supposed to go into the forest and fight each other until only one survives and then they're the queen. Okay. That's fine. Let me tell you about the book though. Yes. You know right here it says, each sister has to fight for it. And it's not a game of win or lose, it's life or death. You read that, right? Yes. Or you can see where my fingers are going because yes. you can't see the letters? Yeah. Yes. Um, And it says, the night the sisters turn 16, the battle begins. Aww. That's right. 16. Okay. But, but that's a weird flex in this book because there's no fight. When you hear the battle begins, what do you think of? 
I'm thinking like a Hunger Games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. keep, keep talking your <laughs> snack. Cause go ahead. <laughs> yeah, like a Hunger Games type like battle. Right. Like a fight. Yeah. Like a yes. fight type steez. Yes. No, ma'am. Then what is it? No, ma'am. I'm not sure. I mean, Rebella has this dream that she's going to kill one of her sisters. And she's like, I don't want to kill him. So now she spends the whole book going to tell what that. What the? Girl. Mm -hmm. So she spends the whole book trying to warn her sisters so she don't kill him. I said, okay. We're not Why wasn't speed. there a fight? This is a good first book. This this gives oh. more prequel. Even though it's the first book, it gives more prequel energy. Yeah. So I hear that the second one is better and there's like an actual battle and it's more like a fight. So we're gonna see. But this one I was expecting fighting, and I think that's why it's not five stars. I was expecting fighting. I was the description is misleading. Right. And when people review this book, nobody says that. Did they pay you to do that? That was... Sorry. <laughs> I feel that's like a big thing. I also feel like that's a big thing. Granted, I didn't watch all the reviews in on this book. Okay. Sorry. I but the back. one... I'm sorry. I did not mean to accuse <laughs> all booktubers of lying <laughs> about the description. I just don't like you calling this the first book because this was mm -hmm. giving prequel tease. That's but crazy. I will say this book was very good, written very well. I like how Kandare writes. This is called <clears throat> The Companion by Katie Allender. Shortened Alexander. I like that. Sorry, that's so unnecessary. But yes. I like this. It's just white and simple. It's like a Bible. No, baby, it's not just white. I can't find the cover. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I took the dust jacket off and I can't find it. Um. Give it a three. Oh, I was expecting that. I was thinking it for maybe because the annotations. I'm think right. I'm thinking. I'm rethinking. Mm -hmm. Three, <clears throat> three, because it's predictable. Ah, oh. like AF. Mm. Like, yeah. From the first time the mom gave her tea, I was like, the mom's poisoning you. <laughs> like, tight. Uh, you want some more? Yes. Margot. Margot. Her family dies in a... Damn. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to no, it's okay. stress you like that. Her family dies in a car accident. The car lands wow. in the river. Wow! Why was that predictable? Because I had a car accident. The car lands in the river. Wow. Everybody died in it except for her. Mm, okay. So she gets sent to a home. And then she gets adopted by this lady. Mm. And this lady's like, oh, I need a companion for my daughter. She used to be so popular, and now she has no friends because she has this weird sickness that has taken over her life. Mm -hmm. um, and then, oh, and then she starts getting, like, haunted or, like, haunting messages telling her to go and leave the house. There's no cell service. There's no Wi-Fi. It sounds like a bad movie. Remember that bad movie we watched? Wow, there are so many. Which one? The know? pregnant lady? And then it was like the girl, she's like, she didn't have kids, so she like killed a person's baby. It was like, black girl with that white dude. No, 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 no. Stop <laughs> <laughs> You watched all the loop? It was, it was like the girl, she was pregnant, and like they met in like the old class. And yes. Like, yes. That's the vibes that's giving me. Yes. Like the predictability. Yes. You know? yes. Yes. Okay. And then very early on, the author tells you that the mother would like make Margot drink this tea. My God. And Margot would just fall asleep. Mm hmm. By the second time they did this, I was like, oh, you're being poisoned. Let's stop drinking the tea. Right. First question is written in. Like, it's just third, first. Second? Third. Third? Okay. So, you know, maybe it would have been better oh. if it was written in second. Mmm. Because then it would have been like, you go into the laundry room and you do this, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She was losing track of time. Mmm. She fell in love with that girl, the girl who she's supposed to be companioning. Oh, she fell in love with her brother. Ah. Um, found out about the aunt that they had mm -hmm. that the mom killed or something. Ooh. Child, I don't know. What did I say? I gave it three? Three. It was just predictable. Mm. It was know. cool for what it was. I read it with part of my imagination. Mm-hmm. Um, she really liked it. 
well, she liked it enough, I guess. I liked it. It was just, I read it in two days, mm. so it was good. It was just, could be better. Can't get one over me. I'm sorry, Katie. <laughs> I saw it coming from a mile away. Yeah. It was like a bad Lifetime movie that yeah. I would watch if yeah. it came on TV. Yeah. Remember that movie? Damn. That movie with... <coughs> that Tyler Perry movie. Jesus. Uh, the one with the bad wig. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Fall from Grace. Mm -hmm. with, with With Felicia Rosario. Felicia mm -hmm. And how... She was like just doing all this stuff to help people collect the insurance money. Yes, yes. Like it's giving that type of vibe. Yeah. Like, it's like why? She was making people sick on purpose. It was giving. It was very much Munchausen by proxy. Yeah. But she wasn't getting anything from it. Yeah. Last Tyler Johnson book. Ah, bury it. <laughs> Tyler Johnson was here, gave five stars too. Okay. Girl, I cried. I'm, I'm glad we, we ended it on a bad note because that yeah, bug made yeah, me mad. Just, Marvin Johnson, obviously. Twin brother named Tyler Johnson. Tyler starts hanging around with the crew, mm -hmm. started getting into some she nans and stuff. They go to a party together. Marvin doesn't want to go, but Marvin's like, that's my twin brother. I need to make sure he's good. So right. we just going to go together. Right. Then the police slide at the party, and then they can't find Tyler. Tyler was gone, but a few, I can say weeks, months later, they like shot from TMZ or whatever. A police officer came and blah, blah, shot and killed Tyler. And so now Marvin is just out here grieving. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the most important thing I took away from this book is realizing the perspective of more than just the parents and the friends. Yeah. Because it's like when a black person is killed at the hands of a police officer, it's like, oh, their parents must be so sad. You know, right. parents should never have to bury their child. Right. But like Marvin was hurt. That's his twin brother. He didn't want to have a birthday party. He was like, I don't ever want to celebrate my birthday again because I've never known how to celebrate without Tyler. Right. Like it was a good book about friendship and closure. And... um. I'm not really sure about Marvin's sexuality. It was very like fluid and ambiguous to me. Mm -hmm. But he did have a little lady friend that he liked. But it was just he, he also gave me very queer vibes. It was such a good book. I just I like that. the end I didn't cry because it was just such a powerful ending that it was just like if I cry now that would defeat all of like the journey that I went through when it was just like oh a boy was found and then next thing you know it was a video of him being shot and like we don't realize how impactful just seeing that is like That's it's not fair day. right it's not fair see Vanessa Bryant the first time she learned that Kobe died was on TMZ whoever it is like a lot of people the first time they're seeing their loved ones die is on social media right. And honestly, I just don't think that's fair at all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this book, it just gave a really good perspective of... Like, you can't never be closest to nobody but your twin. That If you ever have a twin, like, that's the closest relationship you could ever form. Sure. And so... Uh, it's like he knew something was wrong. It just... it, But he didn't... It wants to uh, come to terms with that, yeah. So good. I think you should read that. And that was another book with a cute little black boy with a um oh flowers on the cover. Oh, I've seen that. This book was so good. I've seen that. Was that Target? I feel like I've seen that Target before. Target. Mmm. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like it looks it looks familiar. Yes. It was definitely on Target. Okay. Yeah. That's very beautiful. Like that kind of It should be a movie out there. Let's do a Leon yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for you for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I have to go because I have more books to read. Well, I mean, probably not. We got an app to take. Yes, we got books to read. We we have a movie to watch. It's just so much going on today. Yeah, yeah. But I will see you seeing me in the next one. Bye. <laughs> you want to tell the people your Twitter handle so they can follow you? Oh, yeah. If anyone wants to follow me. Actually, no. Don't follow me on Twitter. I'm not funny. Don't follow me. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs>